Hi everyone. In these videos I'll be looking at tunes which are perhaps less straightforward in terms of their key schemes, mode or melodic and harmonic structure. Today I'll be looking at Miles Davis's tune Nardis. Although the following chart presents a common version of the tune, it must be remembered that depending on the recording from which the transcription is taken, there may be slight variations to both the melody and or chords. For example, Bill Evans, often used here an E major 7 chord, and here F major 7. The tune is 32 bars in length, and has an A, A, B, A form, with four sections each of eight bars. In many transcriptions, it is written with an E minor key signature. This is misleading, however, as the melody avoids the note F sharp, and contains instead an F natural, and although the A sections seem to cadence on E and often suggest E minor, as we'll see, the tune is coloured in several ways. The initial six bars of the A section's melody do suggest E minor, with the note D sharp indicating the use of the E harmonic minor scale. These bars, however, suggest the E Phrygian dominant mode, the fifth mode of the A harmonic minor scale. This G natural also suggests the use of the A natural minor or descending melodic minor scale. In the A section, therefore, although two keys are implied, a modal melody is used which is centred on E. Because of this ambiguity, other scales are also contained in the melody, such as the E Neapolitan minor, and the E double harmonic scale. As you can see, both scales share similarities with the E harmonic minor scale and E Phrygian dominant mode. The E Neapolitan minor is identical with the E harmonic minor scale but contains an F natural, not F sharp, and the E double harmonic is identical with the E Phrygian dominant mode but contains D sharp and not D natural. Neither scale alone, however, may account for all of the notes of the A section's melody, but may be used selectively over parts of the progression. The B section's melody uses only five notes which are centred on B, suggesting the B Locrian mode, the seventh mode of C major. This section's melody also avoids F sharp and F natural, but as its final is a fifth above that of the A sections, sufficient contrast is given between the sound of the two sections' melodies. Through both sections then, by mainly avoiding the note F of any type, and revolving the A and B sections around notes a fifth apart, Davis keeps the sound open, thereby increasing the choices for improvisation. Harmonically, the E minor and F major 7 chords from the first two bars of the A section imply the mediant and subdominant of C major, or the minor dominant and submediant in A minor. When the melody is included, however, only the Neapolitan minor scale may collectively account for all the notes of both chords and melody. The harmony of the following three bars implies the dominant, submediant, and subdominant of the E harmonic minor scale, or more specifically, the chords on the first, second, and seventh degrees of the B Phrygian dominant mode. The melody of these bars also may be taken from this mode. The harmony in the final three bars of section A implies the submediant and dominant of the A harmonic minor scale or the chords on the first and second degrees of the E Phrygian dominant mode. As we've seen, the melody here also suggests this mode. All the chords of the B section, except for the final B7, imply the key of C major, with these chords forming a 2-5-1 cadence in that key. When the melody is added, several modes of C are suggested, here A Aeolian, here F Lydian, and here D Dorian. 
the A minor and F major 7 chords are also part of both the Neapolitan minor and double harmonic scales, both of which may be used over these bars. This C major 7 and the final B7 again imply the second and first degrees of the B Phrygian dominant mode, while the B7 also has a dominant relationship with the initial E minor chord of the final A section. When harmony and melody are combined, the juxtaposition of several scales and modes is evident in the tune's construction. Many of these modal and scalic possibilities are still available for solos, although with only the chords to play over, each chord may be coloured in several other ways. For example, as we've seen, here only the Neapolitan minor scale may account for the note combination of the chords and melody. When only the chords are present, however, while the Neapolitan minor scale may still be used, E Phrygian and F Lydian, the third and fourth modes of C major, are also available. The E flat whole tone scale may also be used selectively over E minor harmony. Through these bars also, while the tune's harmony and melody suggest C major, the A harmonic minor scale and the F Lydian sharp two mode, the sixth mode of the A harmonic minor scale, may be used. E, the pitch around which the A sections revolve, may also be used as a common note connecting the tune's entire progression. Although E is not part of the B7, D minor 7 or G7 chords, it may be included respectively as the 11th, 9th and 13th upper extensions. I hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching. See you next time.